All right, so we're gonna take a look at a couple features under feature coding and attribution, and particularly the rectangle command and then the also the multi-feature code processing. Um, first, I just wanted to point out that I have an ASCII file, and in this ASCII file, these are the points I'm gonna bring into the drawing that I'm gonna process to get the line work to be drawn. So this will really help in your field to finish process. Now up above, I just wanna show you that we started with edge of pavement, and then we got to this point right here, which is uh, 1007. And what we did was we double coded it. We said it was EP1, and then we put a space and said, okay, we're gonna start EG1, and we're gonna put a B. So we're beginning that line as well. So that point's gonna represent and have two codes on it. And then as we get down here, you can see that uh, 1014 is, or 13, is an EG1 shot, as well as, um, uh, the beginning, or actually a new beginning for an EG1, uh, we're actually, we're looking at, uh, here it is, 1019. So 1019 is an EG1 and an EP1. So you can see that it's going to, um, we're gonna create a new EG and it's gonna continue with the EP1 that we started up above. I'll point that out once I bring the data in and process it. Down below, the other option, um, you can see we're using other codes, beginning, ending, so on and so forth. But here's one that I'll point out as well once I bring it in, is a rectangle. So using two points, in this case we're using the rectangle at the first point. We're putting in the wall one code and we're telling it that we're gonna do a rectangle and the rectangle is gonna be a negative 0.75. So it's gonna offset to our left in our direction of travel 0.75 feet. So it's going to create a, you know, almost a foot uh, wide wall. So it could be a top of a head wall, it could be a equipment pad, it could be whatever. Uh, but it's going to create that with just two points. We can also do it with three points. So if a little further down, you can see I'm, I'm starting in the BC for a building corner and I'm using rect as that code. The next two shots are the other, uh, are two other corners of all four corners. So we only got, you know, we can only see three corners using a total station. We can't pick up the back corner, but using this is gonna create all three uh, corners for us, okay? So what I'll do is I'm going to drag and drop in that uh, text file. So the one I just showed you, I'm just gonna drag and drop it in. It's a comma separated file. I've got a project already started with my uh, project template. I'm gonna click import and it's gonna bring in those, uh, those points here, okay? So the building, as you can see down here, if I scroll uh, somewhere down in here, I've got this building one and uh, I've got some double codes, each EG1, EC1, okay, uh, same thing. I think I got some over here. It'll be a little easier once I process it. Before I do that, let's take a look at the field uh, processing though. So if I go to field data and we look at the feature code definition um, and let's go ahead and open up the one we're gonna use. So I've got this one that I've edited and modified. I've got my line code control codes and there's where I've got a circle code and I'm using the CR, uh, CIR as a code. Here is my rectangle code. So I've got RECT as a rectangle. And then I've got, you know, again, all my other coding down here where I've got the, you know, walls and uh, building lines and edge of pavement, edge of gravel. I got them set up accordingly. So when I go to uh, process the feature codes, I've, I've got to bring in and open up that uh, feature code. So I'm gonna grab that one I've edited We'll open that up and I'll click OK. I'm gonna get a couple messages, that's fine, yes. We're gonna continue. And now I'm just going to go ahead and process this point file. So we'll hit close and let's take a look. So if I zoom down in here and let's turn on those numbers I was talking about. So if I come in and show the labels. So here's an example, here's that one I was talking about, 1007. We're working our way down uh, 1006, 1007. We shoot 1007, we tell it's EP1, and it's beginning at EG1. And then EG1 is this line string you see going down and ending down here. And then at 113 that I selected was actually EG1 uh, begin with a PC, so it's creating a curve through here. And there's the PT of the curve. And then as I come back up here, you'll notice that now I'm calling this EG1 EP1, and what it's doing is it's connecting from this point, the edge of pavement, to this point right here, and then I'm just gonna continue up to 10, uh, 1020 up here, or 1020, with EP1, and it's drawing the rest of that object. 
So by double coating that, I didn't have to take two shots there to start the edge of pavement or edge of gravel. I just continued with what I was doing and was able to continue drawing the, um, the line work. If we go up to where these buildings are over here, you can see there's my building and it's created that uh, rectangle BC1, BC1, and this one here is in a, basically an automatic point that was put on that rectangle. If I look over here, there's another one. I've got three corners, that rectangle, it created that fourth, creating my shape based off the dimensions of these three points. Okay. If we look up over at that rectangle one that we did, here is the one where, again, I created it as a rectangle. Here's the coding, wall rect uh, negative 0.75. And you can see the shape was created just by using those two points. So it's created a 0.75 wall to the other side of my object or, or of my line. So it's, I got a 0.75 wide wall. Okay. So those are some of the new features under the topic feature coding and attribution inside a business center.